Welcome everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Jalopy. It's day seven apparently. And I've no idea that's the light from our car apparently. Uh, we've gotten some money yesterday. I'm going to try my luck again. Just in case. Probably won't get any more. But we actually got two people in the motel to give us money. Which is pretty insane. Don't bother me again. Okay, never mind. So they give you money once and that's it. It's a shame that you can't go to them and say, Excuse me, the price has just gone up 200 Deutschmarks. <laughs> Can I use the phone? No. Alright. Let's get out of here. You ready, uncle? We should head to the border. Okay, let me see how much money we actually have. 603, nice. Alright, let's pick a route. Okay, so we're going 210, no, uh, hmm, this is a slightly better road, as you can see, these are bad, but they're much, much shorter, they don't have a gas station, but that's fine, I think we have enough, because we just filled up, pretty much, okay, you ready, uncle? Well, we don't have a full fuel tank, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll make it. Where's the sound? There we go. Ugh. Uh, isn't it loud enough? Oh yeah, there's the crossing. No, it's not. It's never loud enough. CSFR. Cheers. Czeski Federacji something. Socialistic Federacji, I think. I don't know. Either way, the Czech Social Federation. Social... Ah! So, the game crashed. And now, actually, when I reload it, well, when I ran and reload it, it's got uh, different stuff. And in fact, it's got a question mark here, which I believe is a uh, junkyard. So we're definitely going for that. It's, uh, it's sunny, but a slightly bad road. But, like I said, uh, that junkyard should be quite nice. Alright, so let's go. Hopefully it's not going to crash again this time around when we get to the uh, border crossing. That was a bit weird. But hey, you know, I would have never have guessed it from this game. I mean, you know, it is so amazingly stable. And why are all our windows suddenly destroyed? The hell, I don't remember that. Okay. Couldn't have... I wish they didn't make these areas so tiny. Papers, please. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, here's your papers. Papers. Okay, let's see here. Okay, everything seems in order. Thank you. Alright, let's get going. There's some music. Yeah! Suckers! Ooh. We're out of here. Okay, hopefully we can find something on the way. Can I, uh... It doesn't really help. Why is only one wiper walking there? <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, this, uh... These windows are all broke. They're all broken, pretty much. I don't know what happened. I didn't even crash the car or, or flip it or something. I don't know. Either way. Wait a second. There we go. That's better. So we can see what's behind us, even though there are no reflections in this game. <clears throat> One comment was amusing back in the, you know, a few parts back. Someone said, uh, would be so much better if he turned on, um, you know, reflections so you could see, see out the mirrors or through the, you could see, you know, stuff on the mirrors. But <laughs> this is it. This is as best as the game graphics go. I don't, like I said before, I don't actually mind the art style they went for. I just wish it wasn't so barren. Um, well, that was interesting. We'll have more borders to deal with in our journey. Be careful what you try to take over the border. If they find illegal goods, uh, we'll be fined. Yeah, I mean, yes, you know, there's fences, there's grass and, and trees, but... I mean barren as in, there's 
no one out there. It feels like you're driving through a post-apocalyptic, you know, world. I'll ask that you drive us to Sturovo today. It's our border crossing into Hungary. Where does that go? Oh, that might... Wait a second. So the road goes there. But there's a... Off-road one here? Where does it go? Does it go to the junkyard? That would be nice. I think it might be just sort of a shortcut-ish thing. Hmm. That's not good, because I'd want to check that uh, junkyard. If it's up there, it's not going to be nice. Where the heck does this... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Water? I've never seen that before. Okay, well, that was sort of weird. Okay. Let's check out what we have here. So what is in the box? It's a pretty big box. Let's open it. Let's open it. Stop moving! What is it? Oh, just one wine. But that's still pretty good. You know, it's free money. How heavy was that wine? Did you see the car just sort of slump? Jeez. Alright. Let's go, Uncle. You ready? Yeah, shut up. Yeah. Whoa, this light is powerful. So we got one wine. But where is that junkyard? I'm hoping it's this way. I don't see nothing. Man, this car is... Just... No. But see... This is a very small scale. Because we're racking up kilometers like it's nothing. Okay, so this goes back to the road, but... I have a feeling the junkyard is up there. Or was up there. Well, it's still 210 kilometers, actually, so... Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't see anything up there. It doesn't... Oh, wow. I forgot how many white birch trees there were in this country. Quite wonderful to have them passing as we drive. To have them passing? They're not going anywhere, Uncle. We're passing them. Okay, so hopefully, yeah, the junkyard, I think, will be up here somewhere. Oh, oh. Oh, that's just a... a, a another one. Hmm. Oh. Let's go this way this time around. Mit dem Programm in Deutsche Sprache. Come on, get up there. We still have a little bit over half of fuel remaining, which is good. And for some reason, this this fence here is ginormous, so we can't really see anything from here. I was hoping we'd be able to see, you know, from a vantage point, but nope. Of course not. Also kind of sucks that you can't have the uh, the thing on, the radio. While the engine is off. But I suppose, you know, considering how this car is... Oh, no, 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 wait. We want this with us. Considering how bad this car is... Um, well, it's probably just drained the battery instantly. Coffee is forbidden, right? In this country, so that's pretty good. In check. So, uh, we can sell it for a little bit more. Not bad. Power! The speed, the blinding speed at which we're moving. I don't see that junkyard. I really hope we didn't miss it. Because if it was back there, uh, at a place like this... Oh, wait a second, what is that? That looks like the junkyard. Unless it's a kind of a graphical anomaly. That looks like a building. Come on. What is that? Oh, great. That's just a graphical anomaly of some sort. Not watching where we're going. I don't see any stuff to pick up there. So we're just gonna keep going. Yeah, there's nothing there. There's just some flat trees. <laughs> Brilliant. 
There's some holes in the world here. That's always nice. Give me that junkyard, please. What is that? Uh, um, a thermal power plant? So here's a thought regarding tires. We've been on the road for only a short time now, but we need to stay on top of tire maintenance. If we get a flat tire, our cheapest option is to jack the car up and repair it with a tire repair kit. You should be able to find these at any petrol station or market. Though keep in mind, it's only a temporary solution. Market? I don't remember any markets. I only remember two types of shops. Gas stations, or fuel stations, or petrol stations, and uh, the Leica shops. And the Leica shops don't have repair kits and such. Oh, please accelerate beyond 30, please. It takes forever to get anywhere. Which I suppose is the point. I, I do wish, you know, because the sound of the engine is mo is what you hear most of the time, I do wish they uh, they put in a more realistic two-stroke engine from the Trabant sound. Oh, wait, where does this go? Oh, oh, I don't actually want to go all the way there because that's just wasting fuel. And uh, it's a dead end anyway. Oh, what's this? What is in here? Let's check it out. Hopefully it's something very good. Oh, ho, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Doesn't seem to sell for that much, though. Maybe I should wait until we... Until it's illegal somewhere so we can sell it there. Nice. Not bad. An absolutely full crate of fuel. Come on, uncle. Let's go. Oh, barely made that corner, sort of. Oh man, that power, the speed! Unfortunately, we have to lose all that power and speed. Because there's a... There's another crate here, which I don't mind at all, actually. There's more money. So what is in here? Man, or Stop moving. Sausages. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We got loads of sausages and wine. Well, we're set for a picnic, I suppose. A socialist picnic. All right. Let's go, Uncle. You like sausages? Oh, you don't. You like wine? You don't? Okay, well, we're kind of screwed then. I like sausages, but not exactly wine, so... Hopefully those would be like salami or something, but I'm pretty sure they're like cheap hot dog stuff. Why is the car leaning so much, or is that the road? Oh, come on, please, just make it up there. We'll have to repair some of this stuff. Actually, I think it would be good to repair it now. Because, uh... Otherwise, it's just destroying the engine and so on. So let's take the repair kit. And so the engine is 0 out of 3. Brilliant. That's why it's so bad. Stock air filter. 10% reduction to engine wear. Brilliant. This increases our mileage. Okay, let's... Let's do it like this, I suppose. That's great. This thing is a piece of something. Come on, Uncle. Off we go. Oh. Well, never mind. There's another crate here. That's excellent. Alright, let's see what we have. I will need the crowbar. Oops. Is that like kicking the car or something? I don't know. Bing. So what do we have? Ooh, it's coffee beans. Three coffee beans. That's not too bad. No. I love how it, uh, it stacks everything like that. That's pretty cool. I suppose they, they spent all their time designing the uh, script for stacking stuff and didn't have the time to polish out the bugs. Radio Berliner. Come on, faster. Radio Berlin International with the program in Deutscher Sprache. Unfortunately, it does seem that we've missed the junkyard. Which... 
kind of sucks. Well, it's still 70 kilometers to Sturovo, so... I don't know. We might still get lucky right before the, uh, the city, but I don't think it's far now. Oh, this looks kind of promising, though, this big road. Look, if any at any point you feel I'm bothering you too much, just turn the volume up and I'll take the hint. <laughs> I know it can be a bit much in my old age. I'm just excited. Okay, this must be... The... Uh, this must be where the junkyard is. Oof. Yeah, that's where the junkyard is. Excellent. Do we really need it so loud? But I just put it right back down. Alright, there it is. Excellent. Alright. Oops, didn't want to do that. But there you go. I did it. And I'm gonna open this. Because I think we'll need it. So what is it missing? It's missing a, an ignition coil, isn't it? Uh, there's fuel. And we can actually take the... Uh... Come on. Oh, it's not. I never know what the hell is wrong with these things. So it's got a stock carburetor. It's got a stock engine, which is zero, so I suppose... It needs a working engine, or we need to repair the engine. Well, our engine works, but I can't put it in there. Oh, that's so annoying. It's 100% charge. Are you saying we can't get in here now? percent charge oh man that's really annoying we cannot get in <sighs> yeah I think it just needs to be repaired a little bit oh so annoying well at least I can take the carburetor I suppose sorry not the air f well it doesn't have an air filter so never mind it's all useless Carburetor. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. I don't suppose I can stuff this in, can I? No. Well, if I didn't use that uh, repair kit, I need to remember that for next time. Damn it! Sucks. Oops. The back is still open. I could return here, but, I mean, it probably wouldn't be worth it. Probably not. But I, I don't even want to see what I'm missing here. Oh well. But you know what? It wasn't too bad, despite the fact that we ca cannot get in here. We, uh... We still got some pretty good stuff, including all that wine there. Oof. <clears throat> Oof. Come on. Unleash the power of that amazing engine. Right there, I'm honking at the trees. So, uh, what's up, uncle? Doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah, this would be so much better if there was actually life out there. Animals, lots of traffic, people walking about. Don't really know why they didn't do that. I mean, I suppose they wanted to avoid collisions. Because if you had people around, you could, you know, people would eventually drive into them. Probably on purpose. And you would have to deal with that. Um, and cars, well, they already did. But you can see that even with just a, just like a couple of AI cars on the road, everything can go wrong very quickly because the AI is just, well... What the hell? Did I actually smash into that one? What? How did that happen? Alright. Come on. Now we just need the papers to say that wine is illegal in the next country. Head to the motel so we can cross over into Hungary tomorrow. So hopefully Hungary 
will have banned wine. But with my luck, they'll probably check the car and confiscate everything. And give me a fine. I'm hoping also that the Leica shop here will sell the roof rack and stuff like that that we need. That would be great. Oh god, are you saying that there's a... There's a bridge before the town? No, there's a bridge after the town, isn't it? There's the gas station. I suppose we can stop here and fuel up. This is one gas pump. Okay, let's open that. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. I require fuel. I require it, lots of it, and I require it now. Bing, bing, bing. No oil mix. None of it. Yeah. Fortunately, fuel is quite cheap. So that's good. Right. I don't know if I should sell this stuff or not. I suppose I will. I'll just sell it all. It's kind of, I don't know. It's. I feel like it's too risky. Uh, bringing contraband over the border. And not enough rewards. I mean, you get a slightly increased sell price for contraband, but uh, if they find you, they take it all. And you also... Uh, have to pay a fine, so it's a double whammy. I really don't want that. Look at that, though. That's amazing. Oh, I suppose I can't put it there. That's fine. Wait. Let's put these two sausages in here as well. Oh, God. Come on, it's so fiddly. Thank you. All right. Hello, we have come to buy fuel and sell you lots of other stuff. It's just gonna go beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we don't buy the piano. Love it. All right. So, we want some two-stroke oil. Oh, there's the sausages. There's wine. Cigarettes. Okay, let's buy a engine repair kit. Wet tires. Wait a second. Why is this one cheaper? But it's... But it's actually better. In every way. That's bizarre. Alright, let's buy the tire repair kit. I mean the repair kit. Oh yeah. I need the money, of course. Give me the money, uncle. Thank you. 603, pretty nice. And it's gonna go up still. But of course, we're gonna be losing money soon because our car is about to fall apart or start, start falling apart quite quickly now. So let's put the, f the uh, oil in. Damn thing. Come on. There. Rich. And the repair thingy. Actually, I can already repair stuff, I suppose. Yeah. There. And in fact, I think I'll buy another one. Just to have... What the hell happened there? Do I have the money with me? Yes, I do. Um, just so I will have... Oh, they, they don't have another one. Never mind. I mean, it's one Deutschmark. Come on. Gotta, gotta have everything. Okie dokie. We're all ready. I could clean the car, but... Ah! 
Let's get to the motel. Uncle, you sleepy? You're probably sleeping all the time anyway. Okay, so we came from there. The motel must be to the left or to the right. <clears throat> okay, so that's not a bridge. That's actually... Oh, yeah, there is a bridge there. Uh, there's the Leica shop. Let's go check the Leica shop, shall we? No, actually, we'll do it next time. So let's go to the motel and sleep. God, why, why does the motel have to be so far away? No, that's the Leica shop. That was the motel. <laughs> well, never mind. <clears throat> Let's go check it out then. Oof. Okay, give me something good. Of course, I need the money. Just in case I will be buying something. Actually, I don't think I need to pay them here. I think it gets deducted automatically. I'm not sure. All right. Let me see. Tile, tile catalog. So, upgrades. Yeah, there's the roof rack. Ooh, there's the roof rack. 48 units of storage space, plus two tire slots to the car. Oh, man, I want that. I wish there was something... Red flames! I wish there was something else. I mean, that repair stuff, but it's not. Mm, can, stubby. Tube. Stout. Squash. Can buy the engine as well, I suppose, but no, we'll, we'll do this. Exceptional. Your order is ready uh, for you out the front. Okay. Well, this is a pretty big thing. We got a bloody roof rack now. Roof rack fitted to the stop... Uh, st to the stop of the car? <laughs> okay, how do I do this? Oh, look at it! More storage! Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, let's go to the motel. This is a good day. We have storage on our Leica for more glorious contraband. I mean, for more wine and medicine. These drugs. <laughs> What's Georgie? Well, we've probably used up half of the fuel just getting to the Leica place and now to the motel, but there you go. That's what a comrade has to do. All right, well... Thank you very much for watching. We're going to go to the uh, motel, park outside, and uh, enjoy. And hopefully you're going to join me in the next part of Let's Play Jalopy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.